our reindeer, I've got a five inch round red that I've inflated to about an inch or so. I've got a white 160 with about a three and a half to four inch tail on the end of it. And then three fashion chocolate 260s, each with about a two and a half, maybe a three inch tail on the end of those. So we're going to start with one of those. What we want to do to begin is we're going to take a red, and you'll notice that I didn't trim it as closely as I normally do it's because, I'm, because I'm going to need that. I'm going to take the knot or the nozzle end of one of the chocolates and the nozzle of the red and tie them together. Obviously this will be a red nose on our reindeer. And if you want to make just a deer instead of a reindeer, or you don't want to make that famous red nose variety reindeer, you can put a black or a light brown or some other nose on it. We're going to start by making about a two and a half inch bubble. And a half inch bubble makes that into a pinch twist. And then we're going to come back with another two and a half, two and a half inch bubble the same size as that one. And then grabbing the knot, twist those two together. And then I'll take and push the nose up through there for the top and that ensures that it's going to sit nicely on the front like that when you get it done. Now I need another bubble and I'll make this one sometimes a little longer than those two for its bottom draw. Twist that into there. Now we're going to come and make the top of his head. So make about an inch and a half to two inch bubble. Make a little half inch bubble on top. Make that into a pinch twist. And then another bubble the same size as that one there. Coming back down alongside. Twist that into the pinch twist on the back. And that's the beginning of the head of your reindeer. Now we're going to come down, make about an inch to an inch and a half neck, make a half inch bubble, make that into a pinch twist of course. Come down, and we're going to make our body about four inches long. And again, another pinch twist on the bottom of that. And then come back up to the top here. Put another bubble the same size as that. Twist it into the upper pinch twist. And then we're going to pop this excess off. Secure that loose end. And there's part of the body in the head of our reindeer. Let's go ahead and finish the body before we get to the antlers. So we're going to take another one of our 260s, make sure it's good and soft. Let's make our upper arms first. So what you want to do with that, I'm going to take and twist this into the pinch twist at the bottom. This will complete his body and make his upper arms. So once we get that secured in that bottom twist, come up alongside the body with another bubble the same size. Twist into the upper pinch twist. And now for his arms, I'll give this little guy little elbows. So go out about three and a half inches. Make a half inch pitch twist, just like that. The front part of his arm, I'll make that slightly shorter than that. Then I'll put a little bubble here. And I'll just make two little small fold twists, about an inch and a half, to represent his hands out here for holding on. Make the first one, the second one, and lock it into that pinch twist on the bottom. And then we're going to reverse and make the other part of his arm here. Measure, make sure it's the same size your elbow and the pinch twist there and then again the remainder of his arm and what I'll do is I'll go ahead and pop this off now and tie that loose in and then come back up and twist it around that pinch twist at his shoulder there so you've got his upper arms there with little paws the hooves on the end perfect for holding flowers now we're going to take and make the back part, or his bottom legs, excuse me. Twist into that pinch twist at the bottom. And now if you want to make him uh, stand up better, I find by doing his front legs like back legs like the front legs with the elbow, which be, he tends to stand a little better because it forces his legs to stay out. So make about a three and a half inch bubble, make a little pinch twist for his knee. The remainder of his leg. And then again, we're going to do 
a pinch twist, and then the two hooks, just like we did on the front. So two little fold twists there, about an inch or so a piece. And then repeat that his leg. And then we're going to do something slightly different than with our front legs. Reindeer have a very short tail. So when you come back to his body, there's his leg, and obviously you've got a lot longer tail than what reindeer normally have. So what you want to do is figure out how long you want your tail. I'll make it about an inch long. And just pop off the excess. Get it to the size you want. Tie that off and then just trim it. And there's your reindeer. And you'll find that he's a lot of times he's going to want to fall backwards. Don't worry about that. Sometimes he'll sit on his own. But once you put the flowers in here, it's going to help hold him up. Now, I need to do his antlers. So let's put him aside. We're going to grab our white 160. And what you want to do is we're going to make about an inch and a half bubble. A little small bubble there. Make that a pinch twist. And then another bubble the same size as the first one. And then we're going to pop this piece off. So you'll want to, and making sure you keep both sides inflated, we'll use the rest of that. Pop that off. Re secure that. And be sure and tie this. This will be part of his antlers in a minute. And then we do another piece just like that one. So repeat the process without any kind of bubble. A little half inch pinch twist. Another inch and a half bubble. And again, pop it off, being sure to keep the remainder inflated because we'll need the rest of his antlers in it. So we'll also make his eyes. So tie that so we can keep that. Tie this. Now we'll come back to the long piece we have left over. And what you want to do for his antlers is twist about an inch and a half bubble, and then take one of these two pieces we just made and twist it in up there at that pinch twist, and there's part of his antler. And you come in about an inch and a half to two inches. And we're going to twist this into the pinch twist on the top of his head. Now we're going to make his eyes. So what we're going to do is we're going to make two bubbles that are going to run down here, around his twist into the base of his jaw, and then come back up to the pinch twist. So you want to make sure that it's going to be about the right size, about an inch and a half or two, probably two inches. Twist around the jaw. And come back up and then twist on the other side. So now you've got his eyes there. And then you're going to come out to about the same size as you've got on this side here for this one. Twist that in to complete the antlers. Don't forget to leave your piece sticking out. So pop the excess off. And now we can dispose of it. Tie this off. And there you have your little reindeer. Let's put him some eyes. He looks a little possessed like this, doesn't he? Now he's ready for some flowers.